Vessel stands for Transaction Engine Services Layer. It's essentially a framework for exposing transactions and other functions or services. In addition, it also includes a host of pre-built services and interfaces. These services support entity and data management, product structure management, and rules and transaction processing, such as rating, statistics generation, full policy transaction creation, and execution. Basically, all the things that are essential to conduct insurance processing through APIs. It doesn't. It was architect on the same exact platform. With everything we develop, we standardize on a consistent structure and format for accessing these services. And although it enhances the overall offering for our clients, those that use our services do not require deep knowledge of how the OneShield platform works internally. OneShield's general philosophy is to implement as much business functionality as possible via configuration. In keeping with this philosophy, these services are configurable using OneShield's designer tool and can be tailored to specific organization, product, or channel needs. The benefit is our clients can utilize what is already provided by OneShield, leveraging the framework, or they can add new services, extending the API layer as needed. These APIs greatly simplify the integration process by providing pre-built services that allow external systems to take advantage of all that the OneShield platform has to offer. This equates to a much lower time to market with Tesla than with a traditional handcrafted approach. So we started Tesla to help one of our clients, Erie Insurance, create a unified portal across the different systems and environment. The OneShield platform has a native design tool, OneShield Designer, that configures virtually every aspect of the application, including product definition. Product definition includes products, coverages, forms, underwriting rules, rating algorithms, and access to this wealth of metadata is provided by metadata services. Accordingly, OneShield was a perfect fit to be architected as a product repository that could be accessed through APIs to handle all their insurance product management and transaction processing. Tesla was created to allow creation of these APIs, and we were able to do that to not only support the functionality, but also meet all of their other criteria like performance and scalability. Where traditionally IT groups have taken months to create these services, with Tesla, it's possible to do that more quickly to allow insurance to respond faster to market needs. Moving forward, we are enhancing the existing services and interfaces by adding billing and claim APIs to the existing portfolio of services and interfaces. And as we get more and more into this interconnected world, integrated services, microservices, Tesla will enable our platform to be able to extend these kinds of services. So we all understand the disruption that's occurring in business and business processes across industries. At some level, insurance is just catching up, particularly when it comes to servicing the customer and understanding the customer journey. The question is, how can systems and platforms like OneShields help organize, participate, manage, and thrive in this disruption? It is important to realize the blackened platforms that are needed for supporting these new transaction types need to be solid. That's where the strength of the OneShield platform is with its flexibility and robustness. So these platforms, like ours, become the hub for making the data connections and providing servicing capabilities for this. These need services in the back end to conduct transactions and business, and this is where Tesla helps by quickly and easily enabling and exposing the transaction processes that a platform provides us services. And these services, or APIs, may be channel-specific or agnostic. What these channels need to do, whether they're enabled by OneShield or not, is connect to the APIs through Tesla. And the best part is, it can be enabled within days, not months, like it used to be.